Hi there! I'm in a dark underground chamber. One minute I was reviewing Jumpstart 5th grade Joe Hammett Kid Detective, then I heard a loud bang and kinda forgot everything that happened afterwards. Now I'm here. There isn't anything else down here except for this camera and a computer screen over there. I guess I should check them out and see if they give me any clue as to where I am. Hello, Loopy Loopium. Welcome to your toughest challenge yet. Actually, it's Lucy Lilium. If you corrected my pronunciation, you should know that this is a pre-recorded message. Oh. In front of you is a computer monitor with a game I would like for you to review. If you're able to complete it, I will let you go free. If not, there will be dire consequences. Good luck. Hmm, she sounded familiar. Oh well. Well, I've never had to review something against my will before, but anything to get out of this place, I guess. Oh, a Kids Next Door Flash game. Everyone knows I don't review Flash games. Only Spongebob and old edutainment ones. But you know what? I like Codename Kids Next Door, so let's give it a try. First, a little background. Codename Kids Next Door was a TV show that first aired on Cartoon Network in December of 2002. It followed a group of kids that were part of an organization that battled adults. Now this show was amazing for its concept, characters, and continuity between episodes. It's easily one of my favorites to ever air on Cartoon Network. It had a lot of Flash games throughout the 2000s, but a lot of them were shockingly difficult. Operation Startup had some really challenging stages and boss fights, but it's still loved by many. This one, Operation Rail, is also supposed to be a little hard. But it can't be that bad, can it? Let's check it out. To start off, give the music a listen. Kind of an intense vibe to it. Maybe this will be a real action-packed adventure. According to the title screen, RAIL stands for Rapid and Infinite Labyrinth. Episode titles always had acronyms like that. So in this, you're playing as number two and trying to save the other kids next door on a roller coaster. They've been tied to the tracks by the delightful children from down the lane, so now you have to save them all. You save a different one at the start of each level, then they join you in the cart as you continue. And for those who don't know, the delightful children from down the lane were big antagonists in the show. They acted all polite and civilized while working with the adults against the kids next door. Hmm, class traitors. So you ride on the cart and shoot at all these little enemies that come your way. They like to attack in abundance and with very small ammunition, so it's hard to see the bullets a lot of the time. The only way to recover health if you take damage is to collect ice cream. Unfortunately, it's very uncommon and sometimes hard to reach. Health is everything because you don't get it back when you move from one stage to another. But I mean, how hard could it be? Okay, maybe it's a little more challenging than your average game, but let's keep going. You have the ability to jump and hover in the air momentarily, which is indicated by this meter down here, and this is necessary for jumping over these evil walls that stop you. It's extremely hard to avoid them because of the speed you're moving at. They can be an infuriating obstacle that can really drain your health. You'll get very used to hearing Hoagie say ow. <laughs> But speaking of frustrating obstacles, guess who decides to show up every so often? These very undelightful children will show up with a cart of their own and they take a few hits to go down. But you can just go over them. Though like I said, jumping over anything is a challenge in its own right. As hard as it is, you have to force yourself to go slow so you can take on everything that comes your way as it presents itself. That'll keep too many enemies from appearing and overwhelming you. But there's one slight issue with that. See this little thing in the corner? Yeah, that's a timer. You have to go slow, but not too slow, because if you do, then you run out of time. How needlessly cruel of the developers to add a feature like this. The stages were hard enough. Seriously, I think this might be the most evil thing the delightful children have ever done. What do they have against the people playing this game? 
Well, to be fair, in the show, children have their memories erased when they graduate from the kids next door, so maybe this is their way of striking at us adults who don't remember when we last fought them. I need to stop making enemies with the villains whenever I review a game. I like that whenever you rescue someone at the end of a stage, you get an animated cutscene before they join you. The animation looks straight out of the show. I also like that you save number four first because he was always my favorite. Not only did he look like me as a kid, but he was also really unintelligent. Also like me. No cartoon character has ever captured my personality so well. Only difference is he ended up going to Harvard and I make YouTube videos reviewing obscure games. Anyway, for another fun note, whenever you get a game over, the people you saved are removed from the ones in danger. I really like that they made an effort to include that detail. And predictably, the stages get a lot harder as you go. They go from being unbearable to deathly. At least you rescue Kuki next so you can reunite the lovers. Honestly, one of the best couples in fiction. But do you want to know what the real cherry on top of this Sunday is? The real kicker that makes it so unbearably difficult? It's the fact that whenever you die, no matter how far along you are, you go back to the very beginning and have to play through every stage all over again. That makes it really hard to develop your skills in the harder stages because you don't get to play them repeatedly, nor do you get to really get a grasp on the pattern of one enemy show up where so you know how to really adapt and strategize for what's to come. Not to mention, every stage is hard, so you really don't want to play through them all again. Beating them once is a mini victory in and of itself. Imagine having that stripped away from you. But these sodas will help you by giving you more time, and these bears will give you a higher score. You know, in case you want to go for a high score rather than beat the game. To be honest, that might be the smarter thing to do. And I think the bears are supposed to be rainbow monkeys, but they don't really look like them from afar. When the whole thing starts, as long as you manage your speed and repeatedly shoot, it doesn't seem so bad. Then comes the onslaught of aircrafts, and it's all downhill from there. They hit you with a lot at once, as well as these walls. Don't you just hate it when you're going for a drive, minding your own business, and then all these planes and blimps start shooting at you in particular out of nowhere? And these freaky eye planes. That would be really scary to see flying through the sky. But after this, it becomes a series of going up and down hills while battling everything in the air, and occasionally on the tracks. Also, these fun little loops can be a real pain to go through if an enemy is inside. They're really hard to shoot. But once number four joins, everything gets a lot bumpier. You also meet this section of chickens dropping eggs. Don't get hit by them, otherwise the yolk will be on you. Though I do have to mention, the designs are really creative, and I like seeing all the different types of enemies they made for this. It really has that Kids Next Door style to it. I also like the little hover you have so you can glide a bit when in the air. The game calls it your magnetic field, so in the instructions I assumed it was like an invincibility sort of deal. You can imagine I was confused when I couldn't figure out how to make it work. It can make some jumps fun to pull off, but that's only if you can. And as can be expected, everything gets harder to deal with the more kids you collect. If you're able to save them all, you seriously deserve a reward. You just get this cute little image if you win, but you might as well print it out and frame it. This victory screen might be worth more than gold. So overall, what can we say about this? It's rage-inducing, yes, but is it bad? Eh, I wouldn't say so. It knows it's a tough game, and it isn't trying not to be. It's meant to be a satisfying victory when you finally complete it, and you really have to keep trying to know what lies ahead of you at every turn. There are a lot of people that like games like this that really test their capabilities. They really get you giving your all. So for the people who enjoy games like this, this is right up your alley. Not for me, though. It makes me cry. I don't think I would personally play this game on my own time, but it is nice to try your hand at and see how you can do. It's brutal, but rewarding. Thank you all so much for watching. I will see you in the next memory. Okay, I finished the review. Now is there a button I press on this thing, or...? Not so fast, Luffy. Sure, you can find the victory screen online, but I won't let you leave until you actually finish the game. Oh, come on. That's impossible. We'll be here for the next 27 years. Then 27 years we shall wait. Get back to playing. Wait, I thought these messages were pre-recorded. Uh, they are. I knew you tried to leave without winning and also that you, you know, say 27 years and... Uh, makes sense. By the way, has that giant curtain always been there? Wow. I was only taking a gamble that you'd be too stupid to notice it. You really are as dumb as number four. 
Okay then, let's find out who's really behind this. <gasps> the delightful children from down the lane? In a framed photograph? Who in their right mind would honor those monsters in such a way? Um... <gasps> Polly Sparks from Jumpstart 3rd Grade? I should have known my old nemesis would be behind this. Fine, you caught me. But you started this by making such unbecoming remarks about me in your review! You caused cataclysmic destruction beyond the likes of what humanity has ever seen before. Eh, everyone's a critic. But that doesn't matter now. You see, my old friends from down the lane provided me with a little... something that's sure to make you comply with my demands. You won't be leaving until you finish what you've started. Gulp. This looks like the place. Not sure how I managed to find it with Lucy's poor organized trail, but at least I'm here now. But it looks like both entrances are guarded. We'll have to deal with this in the most over-the-top way possible. Hang in there, Lucy. I'm coming. So, what exactly is this thing? I'm so glad you asked! Do you know why Nigel Luna was bald and Lucy the Libium? Oh, that's easy. In the episode Operation Fountain, he said that when number five couldn't reach him in time, the delightful children... Oh... Okay, it may have been some hardcore preparation, but this super ingenious method of taking out bad guys is a surefire way to get past this guard. Here goes nothing! <laughs> what? Sometimes the class of methods are the most effective. Wait, wait, we don't have to resort to these barbaric methods. I'll play the game, I swear. It's too late for that now! I've already made up my mind! Now, my mortal enemy, prepare to be bald! No! Stop right there! Huh? Why, if it isn't Joe Hammett, the most esteemed detective around. That's right! Thanks to Lucy's trail, I was able to find my way here! Hey there, this is Lucy. If you're hearing this, that means I've gone missing. If you want to find me, you know what to do. Good luck! Ugh, another crossword! Oh yeah, I forgot I left all those clues to follow and stuff. Me and my memory. Now, Polly Sparks, let's finish this once and for all! You're on, you pathetic gumshoe! Oh, that fight was awesome. It's a shame the camera ran out of battery right before it. Thanks. I can be a real tough cookie when I want to be. I wish you saved me just a little earlier, though. That bald ray destroyed my hairline. Just be glad you made it out with your life. Not everyone can survive Operation Rail. Yeah, yeah, thanks. I'm gonna go home and cry now. And maybe get a guard dog to prevent break-ins from ever happening again. Maybe a golden doodle or something. Right then. Guess I'll be seeing you around. Why, hello again, Joe. <gasps> Polly! Looking for round two? Mm, no thanks. I've had my fun for the day, but I just thought you might want to know what your little friend had to say about your game in their most recent video. My first issue with this stage is that it's just math. Not a game, just math. It's on a black screen, too. You don't even get a kooky character making silly remarks in the corner. Ugh, another crossword. She literally said what the player is thinking. I always struggled with long multiplication and division, as did many others. 
However, this game doesn't walk you through it or anything. It just expects you to know every step of the equation. They could have made a game out of it if they wanted to take you through each of the steps, but no, they just expect the player to figure it out for themselves. I'm really sorry that I have to say this, but remember, this is an edutainment game. Where's the edu and where's the tainment? It's not educational if you're already supposed to know the stuff going in, and it's not entertainment if it's just math. That's what it is. It's just math. There's no game here or anything. So, what do we think? Your ears did not meet the goal. So, how do you feel about all this? I... I don't understand. Mm -hmm. I... Mm -hmm. How could Lucy... I feel so betrayed. Mm-hmm. But you want to make Lucy pay for this, don't you? I... I, uh... I... I, uh... Why don't we go inside and have a little chat? One of my minions just got killed by a mysterious anvil, so I could use another one. Let's go and discuss our plans to destroy our archenemy. Um, okay. Just a little chat. <laughs> Watch out, Lucy. You have no idea what you're in for. See you in the next memory. <laughs> I'm not like them, but I can pretend. The sun is gone, but I have a light. The day is done, but I'm having fun. I think I'm dumb, or maybe just happy. Think I'm just happy. Think I'm just happy. Think I'm just happy. When I'm not playing games like this, that is, then I'm usually angry. <laughs>